getting ready to go to Birmingham? Where are you calling from? I'm in uh, Albany, Georgia. Albany, Georgia. Albany, Georgia. Well, listen, you got a big concert coming up here in Washington, November 6th. You, New Edition, Bobby Brown. Yeah, my own boy. Yeah. What can the Washington listeners expect at that concert? Uh, excitement and a, and a whole lot of energy. Excitement and a whole lot of energy. Uh, and a lot of love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, pump it up. It's early in the morning. Look, I've been up since 3 30. At 20 years old, you are the new heartthrob. How, how, how is all of this affecting you? How do you feel about all of this? Um, well, I just basically, I, I'm doing what I love to do is sing and perform and record and, you know, that's, that's what I love to do. So I guess it, is, it comes with the job. And say it comes with the job? Yeah. Oh, how do you feel when you get out of a limo and you got a million young women out there just waiting? to do whatever you want them to do. <laughs> I don't say that. Um, I think it's great because I, I, I love people so much. That's that's my thing, people. And, uh, you know, as long as the people are there, I'm happy. If the people weren't there, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do this. Now, you wrote most of the songs on your album right. while you were a sophomore yeah. in high school. And you were a big uh, athlete. You could have gone to school for football. Uh-huh. You know, you chose music. Why? Um, I guess there was just something missing. There, there was something missing from the sports and that that, uh, that type of career. But, you know, I thank God he, he, he let me find, you know, what I wanted at such an early age. And then helped me be successful at it, you know. I think that's the best thing. What else do you think you would like to do? Uh, well, I'm about to do a movie also. And um, writing soundtracks for the movie, and, and you know, so basically, I'm going to get into acting and, and and movies, and you know, other production like that. What kind of role are you going to play in this movie? Who knows? <laughs> oh, you don't you don't know much about it yet, or, or what it's going to be? No, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to tell. Nah, not yet. Now, the music, the soundtrack for the movie, is it uh, what we've heard so far from Albie Shores, or something? different for you. Something brand new. Really? Brand new I'll be sure or <laughs> something straight. So basically it's the same thing as how the music always is with Kyle and myself. You know, my cousin Kyle West, we uh we just go straight from the heart, whatever feels good. Yeah, that's right. You and your cousin Kyle, you guys started all this stuff with a makeshift studio in Kyle's basement, right? Yeah, sure did. Your big hit here off on your own girl well all of your songs have been hits but here off on your own girl was a really a smash you wrote that uh, with a particular young woman in mind tell us that story or a young lady i guess she wouldn't pay me any mind i guess and uh basically it's just like the song the song states it shows like the male and a, a male female relationship but with the male ego flaring up and the and the uh the female ego flaring up and uh it, it was just, let me see, how, how could I put it? it was, the, the young lady didn't want to be bothered. And, uh, of course, you know, me being the male, of course, my feelings are going to, you know, get a little fluffed up. And, uh, you know, I had to straighten it out. The ego gets hurt. To get off on own. <laughs> <laughs> Say, get out of here. Reject like, me, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're tra uh, traveling a lot now, and you're really busy all the time. Is there time for someone special in your life? Is there that special woman? Not yet. Not yet. Um, I think... I, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm going to go searching or go looking, but I just, I'll say I'll let it happen after I've finished touring. Because this, this tour is like... It just takes up a lot of the time. And, you know, there's no extra time. And when I, when I do it, I want to do it right, you know. Well, honey, you've been doing it right. People right. love you. And I am so happy for you. I don't think it could have happened to a nicer person. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Your, the single that, that we're playing now, your new single, Killing Me Softly. How, how is it for you uh, doing someone else's song? Um, I didn't really want to do it at first um, I, because I didn't, I didn't think I should do other people's songs. I was like, well, let me write my, all of my own songs and let me do this and that. But I guess... I, that song, that song always did something to me. That song always had like a special feeling. When 
when I'd hear it, you know, it, it, you know, it made me stop and think, this is the song we have to remake. And, I, you know, we right away went upstairs back up to the studio and I started programming the drums and, and we started working out the arrangement and, you know, right away we started working on it. Well, Alby, thank you so much for calling. And when you come to Washington, I expect you to come by and visit me early in the morning. Okay, real early. <laughs> what you said, real early. Yeah, Annette told me that, tell, that you said, uh, blow me a kiss or whatever. But you can give me my kiss now. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good trip. I'll see you when you come to Washington. Okay, honey, take care. Bye-bye. What you got there, buddy?